We're going to continue looking at word problems with fractions. Now, as we've said before, the most important thing with word problems is to make sure you get a really good understanding of the story before you try and leap into any calculations. Let's have a look at our first one. Sugar costs 12 rand per kilogram. I buy three and a quarter kilograms of sugar. How much will I pay? Well, let's try and map out the story a bit. So what am I going to do? I'm going to buy three and a quarter kilograms of sugar. So if I just see this, if I go one, two, three, and then a little quarter, right? Let's just give that a bit of a picture. I've got one kilogram, another kilogram, another kilogram, and then a quarter of a kilogram of sugar that I'm going to buy. Now, for each of those kilograms, right, I'm going to pay 12 rand. That's what that per means. I'm going to pay 12 rand for each kilogram. So for the first kilogram, I'll pay 12 rand. For the second one, I'll pay 12 rand. For the third one, I'll pay 12 rand. And now for this little bit here at the end, well, I've only got a quarter of a kilogram, so I'm obviously not going to pay 12 rand for it, right? I'm going to pay a quarter of 12 rand for it. So what I'll pay is a quarter of 12 rand. So now I can see quite clearly what's going on. I've got one, two, three, three and a quarter kilograms, and I'm going to pay three times 12, quarter times 12. So what I can see I'm doing in order to get the answer is to say I'm going to take three and a quarter and I'm going to multiply it by 12. So now I'm into very familiar territory. Three and a quarter, well, I'm going to turn, remember, whenever I'm dealing with a mixed number it's easiest if I just turn this into an improper fraction in calculating so it's going to be 3 times 4 is 12 plus the 1 gives me 13 so it's 13 over 4 multiplied by the 12 rand over 1 and remember when I do multiplication I just multiply numerators and multiply denominators but I make my life easier and I don't have to do really big ugly calculations if I cancel top and bottom of the fraction any, any common factors in the numerator before I multiply out. And I should be able to see easily that 4 goes into 4 once and into 12 3 times. So I only have to do 13 times by 3 which will give me 39 and at the denominator I'll have a 1 and I know right that anything over 1 is just itself. Okay, let's do another example. I need two thirds of a kilogram of flour to make a loaf of bread. If I have eight kilograms of flour, how many loaves of bread can I make? Pause the video now, try this for yourself in your homework books and we'll go over it together. Okay, I hope you tried to draw a little picture for yourself to see what was going on. Here's the sort of way I was thinking about what was going on. What I've got is I'm sitting with this huge big bag with eight kilograms of flour in it. And I want to start making loaves of bread. So every time I go to make a loaf of bread, I go dip into this bag and I take out two thirds of a kilogram of flour and that goes to make my loaf of bread. Then when I go to make the next loaf of bread, I've got to go dip into my bag of flour and take out another two-thirds of a kilogram and the next loaf of bread I've got to go and find another two-thirds of a kilogram. So if I picture it that way I can see what I'm really wanting to know is how many two-thirds are there in eight. And this is something we've worked with for a while. Uh, if you don't remember it in terms of fractions, let's just go with some normal numbers, right? How many fives are there in 30? 
You'd answer that question by saying 30 divided by 5. How many tens are there in a hundred? You'd answer that question by saying 100 divided by 10. How many twos are there in 24? You'd answer that by saying 24 divided by 2. So how many two-thirds are there in 8? You'll answer that question by calculating 8 divided by 2 thirds. How do we do division with fractions? Well, keep change flip so we keep our eight we change our division to a multiplication and we flip and this is easy to do right we know that eight is just eight over one multiply by three over two and that gives us eight times three over one times two and I can cancel top and bottom because they both can divide by 2. And then I will get 4 times 3, which is 12. And 1 times 1, which is 1. And we know 12 over 1, anything over 1 is just itself. So it is, the answer is 12. So what is our answer? The question was how many loaves of bread? And our answer is we can make 12 loaves of bread.